Rubio, everybody. It's Edgewell 618. And Snowball 618. And I have to say hello to somebody that could not meet either one of us. Um, well, actually, oh, Mr. Jim. Or, yeah, or even Mr. Jimmy. And technically, I we have to say hello to two people. Um, and their names are happen to be Ryan. <laughs> Um, Little Ryan, and of course the bigger Ryan of Discord channel, um, Jetmac and Shadow Wolf. Shadow Wolf. Um, or as he's not on YouTube, well, Ryan's Roblox Adventures. Yes, um, Jetmac is um, from the east side of the US, and then of course um, Roblox, um, Ryan, yeah, Ryan's Roblox Adventures. He's of course from UK as well, so he would have had to fly for Matt, and sadly he's a little bit younger, that he could not make it, so we want to make this little video, or this little segment of the video, and say hello to those guys. Um, we're very sad that you guys couldn't be here. Um, yes, we would have loved to have you guys, but we had to get that stuff. And there is the unfortunate way, it's coming to that time for me to go back. Exactly. Um, and that's exactly what I was wanting to address in the second part. Um, just dig over our experience. Well, your experience for your first time ever in the United States, uh, I got sent to the UK. <laughs> 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 kind of moment. Um, and how's and this is what I've had to put up with for the past couple three, three days. Four days. Yeah, four days. So. Yeah, I'll let you explain your experience um, dealing with me and um, hanging out with Jamie and just simply being in Idaho. And meeting Bacon. Yeah, meeting Bacon. And then we're possibly going to be meeting um, Claudius Archangel um, after this video is made. So he'll meet one more person there before he leaves. And of course, meeting my parents. Yes, and I don't know if your parents watches the channel. No, they do not, sadly. Well, you're going to have to show them this video. Yeah. Of course, I may not see them tomorrow if they're working. Yeah. Or should I say, today. Yeah, today. We'll keep this really, really friendly. Um, I'll not put their names out. Yeah. Um, I'd like to thank... Mr. and Mrs. Mrs. Desert Wolf 618, aka my parents. <laughs> your parents. Yep. Um, I'd like to thank them for welcoming me to their home. <laughs> this large estate, I guess. It's not uh, really just a home, it's it's a all hospital, so it's not really a home. <laughs> Well, it is a home. Yes, it is now a home. Um, I'd like to thank you, thank you for having me. <laughs> um, hopefully you'll have me back again. Yeah, hopefully if I, next time you come over, I'll have an apartment or something. <laughs> um, I'd like to thank you for the food. Yes. Especially the tacos, taco soup. We'll get that recipe to you. Um, is, do you people know exactly whereabouts you live? Uh, the area? Idaho's general location they know. Um, I have mentioned the um, city I'll, here and there, but. I'll leave it that bit out then. Um, well, the part of Idaho we're in. Is absolute fantastic. Um, from what Sean says, it's a farming yeah, it's a town. It's a farming community. Um, community. Five thousand people, roughly. Um, so yeah, we um, have onions and a ton of stuff going on here constantly. It's been very nice and quiet yeah. all the way through today. As you guys can hear, I can open this. Window. You guys can definitely tell I'm opening this window because it's so old. Oh, uh, watch gamers. I can have the window open at night 
and you guys will not hear a single car. The only thing you'll ever hear would be trains. Yes, and they do do you any enough to uh, fantastic experience apart from from travel time yeah and that always just doesn't suck traveling yep <laughs> um, but hopefully if I can get a better job we better money <laughs> or even if I win on the scratch or <laughs> in a few hours <laughs> yeah um, exactly <clears throat> the trip will be getting a little bit longer. And a little bit extended. Yes. Uh, work up. Delphine will be getting a phone call saying, mm, sorry, I can't work for another two weeks. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I won big here in America. I may be saying it. <laughs> um, but if I can, I'd definitely be moving home to you. Yeah. Um, to be with Sean, Jamie. Um, Bacon, Claudius. Bacon, <laughs> Claudius, Sean's parents, yeah. Jamie's lovely other half. Yes. And her family. Yeah. Very. Who's good. also been very welcoming and friendly. And I'd like also to thank to everybody I've spoke to in the area. Mm-hmm. Um. For example, one of your former principals. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, for being very welcoming. All wishing me to have a fantastic stay. Basically, this community is like one big family. It is. Everybody knows everyone. Basically, when I've, I've lived here for three years. For the people that are new to the channel, well, welcome to the channel. Um, I've lived here about three years, and everyone I've ever spoke to here is really, really hospitable and just lovely people. So it's just, like the gentleman who served us in the gas station earlier. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm not saying his full, full, yeah. full name, Mr. D. Yeah. Um, if he watches. If he watches the channel, yeah, he'll, he'll know who he is. I'll definitely point out the channel to him next um, time. So, yeah. Thanks for him helping me out with the little prop on my hand. Yeah. And to say I've only been here a few days, he remembered who I were. Yeah, exactly. He, he <coughs> saw me he's like, oh, I got some. We're just like, we're back. <laughs> the first, first time. Fourth time in the space of 24 hours? Yeah, basically, it is. We were there quite often. Yes. Um, but even the other two gentlemen mm-hmm. we saw in there, uh, the gentleman on the first night. Yeah, he was really, really cool. Yeah. Um, but like I said, this community where we are is really close mm-hmm. and friendly. That's all I can think of for the time being. What you <laughs> yeah. want to put to it? Until if he can um, find other words, um, I'll let him to speak in as well. Um, no, honestly, having Matt and meeting him for the first time has been an amazing um, experience. To be able to find out who the co-owner of my channel is on a personal level, and being an even more personal level. Yeah, literally. I've been out here on the, um, basically a recliner, and he's basically, he's taken over my bedroom, um, and it's basically, I feel like I've had my own, an actual, not a brother in all honesty, just kind of living with us for a while, which is really, really cool, um, we weren't able to do exactly everything I wanted to, but the stuff that we were able to do was, more of the fun kind of stuff that I was doing. Um, we're going to try to get in to give him a tour of Appleton, um, which would be kind of cool. That's if you work yeah. 
back tomorrow. We think being Columbus Day today. today. Yeah, basically. We don't know if they're working today or not, so we'll definitely do that. Um, on top of that, being able to record with them actually in the same um, room has been an amazing experience. And as you will find out on the unboxing, yeah, the unboxing video videos we did earlier. Yeah, and we've been enjoying with that. With Mr. Jump Lord Jamie. Yeah. Um, and then the one that we've done, which yes. is over there, we've been enjoying mm -hmm. that a lot. Definitely. Um, but yeah, it was just, it's been a very, very great time. I've honestly had the best time I've had in the last 18 years of my life. Being with Matt and with Jamie, just us hanging out and doing stuff that we like doing. Just being goose in Walmart, um, not sponsored by them, but in Ridley's. Yeah, Ridley's. Just everywhere we go has been just you know fantastic experience. And, and the best thing about it is no one could have come out. <laughs> just like who are those guys? Um, it's usually because he's rocking full flare hoodies. Um, merch is kind of on hold right now, by the way. Um, just kind of touch up on this. Um. Teespring's kind of changed our stuff a little bit, so I'm going to be... Uh, we're having a little bit of trouble with the logo. logo. Yeah, that logo right there. Um, yeah, so that one. I'm going to be doing a test. I'm going to be buying a test hoodie and see what the logo... Because it says the logo print will be poor, so I'm going to um, test, do one, buy one myself, and... Hopefully it'll be all right. Oh, um, but yeah. <coughs> we'll buy it. I'll buy it. As well. Um, but yeah, that's gonna be on hold for a couple more months. Hopefully that will be back. Um, Hopefully, January time. Yeah. If we can get it sorted. Yeah. By twenty ninth. Let's do that. Yeah. Somewhere 2019. <laughs> Hopefully, Hopefully soon. Spring. Yeah. Late winter, early spring. We'll start our target by Christmas. How about that? What, and just over to do a month? <laughs> High goal. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to try to put your hopes up guys, it's probably not going to happen, so if it doesn't, I apologize, but I will be pushing to get it sorted by December time, so, yeah. Well, we will keep you uh, informed on that. Yeah, you will. Um, in all honesty, it's really going to suck to um, say goodbye to Matt tomorrow, um, or today basically, um, because in all honesty, I've had the... Be because we keep getting mixed up because as we are doing this, it's just after 20 to 1 in the morning. Yeah, so it's now just transferred over days cycle, basically. Um, but yeah. An hour and 40 minutes ago. More than likely, uh, 40 minutes ago. I'm going to try to sneak into the truck as well and ride both of them to Boise, but with it being um, Juggalo's truck, it's a, only a single cab, so it's a nice tight squeeze. Um, but I'll try to squeeze my tiny body in there and be able to enjoy the last hour with him that he's going to be here in Idaho, at least. He's going to be flip-flopping places, but yes. Um, it's been very, very enjoyable. I would love to have him back here with him. A couple months in all honesty, even if I had to fly out there to meet him and be able to say hi to his friends. So, lovely, lovely people they are um, from the <laughs> phone calls that he's been on and her talking basically to him. Yes, um, I'd also like to say hi to the parents and step parents, parents of. Myself, Snow Wolf 618. Um, I know it's been a bit up and down back at home 
Yeah, because we have to have one of our dog yeah. PTS the other day, bless her. Um, and me, and she, me mum would just a bit up and down because it's first time we've met mm-hmm. in person. First time for me to be to United <laughs> States. US. For and it was it worked out really really well um, due to the stress because I honestly I didn't think he was going to get here um, I thought he was going to be stuck in Seattle but he did end up making it for the graduation because yes I am now not a high school student anymore um, that means that I'm going to be full time well, so well you still have to your kindergarten yes I I do and I'm proud of it <laughs> but. And I want to say, I do wish you the best on the way home tomorrow, or today. Oh my lord. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's, it's honestly, it's gonna, it's gonna suck to say goodbye, because it's basically, it's like having another family member here. And you are more, or less, now family here. I don't think anyone could take the experience away, even if I was offered a bill, I would not um, have taken this day away. Oh, you have took the billion, and then, well, you know why. <laughs> I'd be a flat chicken. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. This is what you said it was, guys. No, I'd be staying. Th- yes, that, that would be technically true. I'd be like, yeah, take the bill. Yeah. All right. And, all right, buy yourself a house. <laughs> Good job. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> I'd just be like, just save a few. <laughs> but no, it's... And I'd treat somebody, I'd treat somebody else as well. Hmm. <laughs> but, yeah, it's just... I keep saying this, but it, it's going to be tough. It really is. I... Literally, I watched my brother leave um, down to Utah, and that sucked. It's he's gonna have to like blood and blood family, um, but not knowing when the next time I'm gonna be seeing Matt, it's gonna be a little tougher than saying goodbye to my brother, because uh, I know <clears throat> if I really needed to, I could call him up and he'd be able to drive down or drive back up here and come see me. Matt, he has to fly, and in all honesty, none of us have the job to be able to do that, just fly every other weekend. Um, to, I wish I could. I know, I wish I could too. Um, so yeah, knowing that it's going to be a few months, to even possibly a year, between me seeing him, it sucks. Because I wish I could hang out with Matt more, because it's been, it's been a heck of an experience. And I know my parents were kind of on the edge of going, mm, should this really happen? And should we have him? I'm glad we have um, allowed him to come stay because it's been kind of a value or a valuable um, lesson that you don't need to know people or you can meet people online and be able to have a great friendship and even. Yeah, but getting to the fact of that, we have been, <coughs> excuse me, yeah. we have been talking for two, yeah. two and a half years. Shout out to the north of Alex, that's yeah. where we found each other, started talking, and yeah. now it's... I've helped you through some yeah. tough times. Yeah, very tough times. But, that's just... And to then, the now we started with... Now it's ended up with phone calls for God knows how many hours a night. <laughs> yeah. Phone calls for you waiting for an airplane to come here. And now it's literally us talking face to face. Being able to travel by gear and by stuff for the YouTube channel that we've done, we've grown basically together now. Yep. Which is awesome. 
and I'd also like to add another thanks to Mr. Juggalo Wolf Jamie as he goes by mm, on, Discord, on, Discord. on our Discord server now for literally being, being our server yeah being our so, chauffeur, chauffeur yeah um, supplying with me smokes yeah. even though I've not asked him yeah he hasn't at all um, also we saw the water Basically everything. Why well, as we've been over there. It's like I've it's like I've been saying for the past few months. The wolf lair is a family. Yeah, it very much is. And that's how we wanted and it. This vacation to here it, well it's not technically just a vacation, it's business as well. Yeah. Um with the chant talking about the channel yeah where we go from here and recording we've been yeah. doing that so it's not just been a whole kick your legs up boys it's going to be a vacation uh, we've been working and we've been um, upgrading my stuff as you guys can tell by the mouse right there and uh, I could no just look or that off but I got a whole new keyboard as well. Um, so I've gotten more gear for this, bettering the um, office as he's been here. So, and just the simple fact that the mic webcam, um, basically, yeah, that um, the adapter, the HD mic cords I'm running right now have all come from him. Um, my hoodie, my shirt, there's a ton of stuff that I could name off right now that's come from him that, um, if it weren't for Matt, I wouldn't be up and running right now. I would have given up on YouTube, um, because I would have seen my equipment fall apart, and I would have just, I would have lost hope. So, it's literally because of Matt that we're here, sat here right now together and it's because he's been keeping me buckled down and it's not bad to say it was all planned <laughs> and put into operation yeah in less than four weeks <laughs> yeah basically a month to have him down here and it was at the point where my parents didn't even realize what was going on because we were basically planning it, and he is planning with Jamie for the trip down to um, where my residence is. That I was even involved in him getting here, and my parents weren't involved in any of it. Um, my mom gave him the um, invite a few months back, and pretty sure she kind of forgot about it. Now it's been longer than a few months. Yeah. It's been about six months to eight, eight months. Yeah. So it was it was a while back that she kind of jokingly was like, oh yeah, we'll have them by. No, I can remember her words. Hmm. Um, you can come out and help him take the trash out. Mm-hmm. Yeah. He sure did take that offer up. He's now here because of my mom. Um, basically, giving them the offer of coming and visiting. And I, honestly, even though my parents were on the, kind of, on the ropes, my parents have had a great time having him here. Um, because, for one, it's got me out of the house for a long time, so they've been able to do stuff that they needed to around the house. And he's been giving me company, which I desperately, desperately needed. Um, just because of my depression and everything. Um, I've not been having fun with YouTube, and, um, it was just because I didn't know who I was working with, um, as a person, and I didn't know where, where we were going, until now, we've talked, basically, um, about that whole thing, I now know who Matt is as a person, which, he's just an amazing guy, just hands down, um, very awesome.
awesome guy. I wish you were family, and I'd be able to call him family. Um, not just as the role player, but actual family. Because um, I, hands down, I would. Because he's just an amazing guy. I just, I've had the best time of my life for the 18 years that I've been alive. And it's just because I've had someone that I can kind of stir around with and have fun. And sadly, it's coming down to an end. And I'm not going to allow him going home to allow me to go back into my depression. Even though he's gone, I'm still going to have fun. And we're going to know and we're going to keep pushing this channel to limits that it's not reached before. And that's what's going to be really fun. Um, even though he's going to be back in England, we're going to start getting games that we both can play. Um, him on his tablet and me on my computer. Um, we're going to start getting games that we're going to be able to play together. Um, ATS, DTS, um, anything basically. I'm going to get him PUBG. more. Yeah, PUBG Mobile. Um, once I get his phone, we're going to bring that to the channel. And I'm going to start including Matt in on this um, channel a little bit more because, in all honesty, it is his channel as well. And the recording that I've done with him have has honestly been the best recording sessions I've done by far because I've actually had people, or at least one person that I love being around and hanging out with. And to be able to have him in video with me has just been a whole new experience. And I can now understand why people do it with people that they really like to hang out with and just enjoy being around. So, it's been really, really cool. I'm going to shut up and allow you to speak a little bit more um, before this video comes to a wrap, wrap up. I've read. Yeah, it's good. Cool. Mm -hmm. I've been going for quite some time. Yeah, 27 minutes and 30 seconds. Um, but I'd like to say again and again, <clears throat> thanks to Sean, thanks to his parents, thanks to Jamie and his other half for making me feel welcome and literally making me feel part of family. Um, it was a bit weird during your graduation. <laughs> yeah, a British person standing for the Pledge of Allegiance. Yeah, I didn't think that went through. <laughs> Oops. And I yeah. didn't even get a heads up about that one. No, I kind of forgot how the graduations have gone, or have, have gone, have gone, God. How the graduation goes. Yeah, how the graduation goes. And holy space that we did the Pledge of Allegiance. Uh, I saw, or I heard someone, or my friend Backslicer, say, hey, everyone said for the Pledge of Allegiance. And I'm sitting there going, oh, blessed me. I don't even know if Matt knows our pledge. <laughs> so I look over as I'm doing it, and I just see him hand over his heart, and my my man got something right there. Um, just stand there. And that's no honestly the best he could do. Um, he had no idea how the pledge goes, so big props to you, because that would have been more than I would have done. I would have just sat there going, uh, what did I do? But no, you took it pretty much in stride and did what you had to do to make it look like you knew what you were doing, even though deep down you are going, oh god, what's going on? Okay. That's not what. That's it? Okay, everyone else sitting. <laughs> okay, let's get this going, boys. Um, yeah, these had to deal with me for, for this, and I'm like this. <laughs> As you guys can tell, I'm feeling a lot better because I am the goofy child that I was when I first started this channel. And even you can probably tell that I'm a little bit more goofy. And it's because I've gotten out of the depression. I plead the fifth. Eh, hey, we're breaking the fifth in him. <laughs> it's not a petrol station anymore. Come on. 
How's that? Zipping, get me me sword. <laughs> oh yes, um, <laughs> the next, the next video, Sean might be announcing that I had been killed. <laughs> yeah, um, if you guys see a title with Snow 618 in it, um, call the police. Um, call 999, whatever you have to do, and send help for him. Because more than likely, his head's gonna be on a, um... Stick? Yeah, basically, on a stick. Um, because he's gonna be flying home, and he's gonna be in the car with his parents, and he's gonna be like, Hey, can we stop at the gas station? So, <laughs> what'd you just say back there? Uh, petrol, petrol, petrol! I said petrol! Um, but yeah, it's been pretty funny. Um... With his flubs and mistakes, um, basically calling it the American slang because that's what me and Jamie say, and he's been talking with us for about two years now. Um, he knows what it's called in America, but he's trying not to break um, his roots and trying to call it the British uh, way, but ends up just kind of transferring to uh, the non or the American English. Not the British English, um, but it's the real English, in all honesty. Um, we all came from the UK. Just hands down, America is a byproduct of the UK. So if we're talking about true English, it says English, not ours. It's the Queen's English. Yes, theirs. So, yeah, broken English. E. <laughs> Because I don't know what's worse, the ginger or ginger with broken English. <laughs> well, he got that. <laughs> but, uh, but hopefully, he's going to try and get back out here sometime next spring ish. Yeah. Late October, at least. Um, I know I'm definitely will be back out here late October next year. Yeah. If your mom and dad will have me again. Yeah. And then if we can plan it out, um, Fiddle Fest, um, and that's a huge shout out to where I'm from or where we're located or where I'm located. Um, Fiddle Fest. Um, I'm going to try to get him down here during the summer as well. So he can see what Fiddle Fest is and why me and Jamie, whenever we bring up Fiddle Fest, our, light, our eyes light up just a little bit. Um, because it's such a glorious time. Everyone has such Yes, but time. I do know I'm occupied for a week. I think it's June time. Yeah. Sometime in June. I don't know when. I can't remember when Fiddle Fest is. Well, I'll, I'll have to go go let you know that. When I get the dates confirmed. Yeah. Um, but yeah, guys, it's been an honor having Matt. No one to I would definitely have him back in a heartbeat if he said that he had the money to come and visit again. Or even, I would go. Fingers crossed, I win a decent amount on scratch all day. Yeah, just cross everything. <laughs> but no, in all honesty, if I could, the next time, um, hopefully I can get my license here really quick. Because that's the only thing that's keeping me from fun, is not having a license. Because um, you have to have a picture ID, and I would have to get a license. You have to get a passport? Or even a passport. Um, hopefully to I fly will... to the UK, you need a passport. Well, yeah, and a passport. But I'm hoping that I'm going to be able to fly to the UK to find out where he's from and get the backstory of that. And to be able to meet people down there because I've been told that it's a lovely, lovely place. Um, <laughs> he's giggling, but no one see, I've never been there. And the pictures that I've seen have been just lovely. So, I don't know. I'm a country boy. That's <laughs> all I know is green John Deere's and, yeah. Trust me, you'd be there before I was in just want to come back home. <laughs> nah, I'm a city boy too. I grew up in the city. I've been living here in the country for um, years and I'm starting to... Because if people life. read the news, it's 
from those who watch us, watch us in England, mm-hmm. um, in the Sheffield area. We've been having a lot of trouble for the past month or two. Um, by a lot of trouble, and I mean a real, <coughs> excuse me, a real yeah. lot of trouble. Yeah. Um, I'll fill you in on that yeah. after we finish yeah. this. So, for all of you guys that are wondering, um, is Matt going, ooh, nasal. Is Matt returning to England empty handed? Um, no. Hands down, I'm not going to allow him to return empty handed. Um, I've offered my necklace, he's declined that very, very hard. Um, Tell him why I've declined that. And it's just because it's a gift to me, even though it's. For all of you guys who are wondering what necklace, I literally happen to have it right here. Um, it's this necklace that I've worn in many, many uh, videos back in the day. And it's because it was a gift from one of my ex girlfriends. Um, so, with him denying that, I do have the gift that I am going to be sitting on with him. And it's the um, belt buckle that I wore at my brother's wedding. So, it has a little bit of sentimental value that's connected to weddings. And, of course, me, because I've worn this for many, many years. And it's just. It would be an honor to have Mr. Matt. But that's a, if it's okay with your mom and dad. No, this is 100% my buckle. They do not care. I've already kind of talked to them about it. They honestly said they would not care. Well, if your mom and dad is still here later, I will ask them about that. Yeah, you can ask them. You can take it. I'm pretty sure they would not care. But I'm not going to allow him to go empty handed from here. Um, just to have a little something from me um, to use. Well, thank you. Yes. I just need to get a belt quick now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Or even just hang it up or something. <laughs> so, yeah. Something I've worn quite a bit in all honesty. Um, so, yeah. If you have anything else to say, I really don't. <laughs> I don't really. I'd just like to <laughs> thank everyone I've already thanked. Yeah, basically. And thank you everyone for watching. Um, it's an honor, an honor, very much an honor to share the YouTube channel with this guy. Um, no, honestly, again, I wouldn't be here if it weren't for him. So, yeah. <laughs> and if anybody needs to talk um, will put a link to the website mm-hmm. it's got my business email on it, it. has mine it's got Sean's business email on it mm-hmm. um, also in, t- in the description the link to the discord yeah server. which we are active every single day if you ever need us to you talk get- um, to even just hang out be in recording Oh. Or just for us to listen to you. Yeah, exactly. Um, we are hundred percent there at all times. Um, with him being in the UK, he's about seven hours ahead of me. So when it's basically um, morning time for him, it's night time for me. So well, it's going on for ten past eight in the UK at the moment, and it's ten past one here. Yeah, exactly. So it's. We're pretty separate, so it's morning time when it's nighttime here, basically. So we're basically on 24 7. And if it's not us, we have Ryan, um, Jetmax. We have um, He Who Shall Not Be Named, um, Mike. We have a ton of people that really, really care about everyone and is there to listen, which is really, really cool. Um, so definitely hit down. Oh. I'd also like to thank our YouTube staff members, mm, our yeah. Discord staff. Yeah. If if it weren't for your 
Discord would be a madhouse. Yes. <laughs> it really would. Especially that was with, just for move. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> well, especially with him being here right now, we really haven't been on Discord very often, so our staff have been taking care of Discord 100% lightweight. And every time I do get on Discord, it's not a complete circus, which is really, really nice. So Compared to some of the servers we are members of. Yes. Um, and I'm not going to name out servers, but there is a few servers that I'm a staff member on, but I'm too busy doing YouTube and all that that I can't really take care of their channel. And I go on to their channel, the owner will be on, his, like, three staff members that will be on, and not including me. And it looks like a dang circus is going on, and I'm just sitting there going, uh... <laughs> not my server. My server is nice. It's like, I don't know if you're still part of one of the servers I am. Um, when we joined when we had that little trouble with Owen. Mm -hmm. I'm not in that one anymore. I got booted out of that one real quick. <laughs> what? An age? Mm -hmm. I'm pretty sure I've been kicked kick from that one. If not, I haven't been on it for um, ever. So. Might as well not be there. <laughs> I'm still a member of it. I've not got no major role on it. But it's like it's run by ten year olds. Yeah. It's mm. like Minecraft servers. <laughs> okay. I'm sorry for all the Minecraft user users that are above like eighteen that run servers. Don't they? Yeah. <laughs> Basically. Yeah. RGA. You don't. Um, Press and plays. Oh. <laughs> but, um. Dire Wolf. Yeah, no. He owns a, he's got a server on the field. Yeah. Also, um, link to where we met, the Northern Alex. His channel, his link will be in the description too. Show him some love, guys. Um, from the both of us. And yes. the rest of that logo. And of course, that one over there, um, Mr. Snow Wolf, and of course, as well. Um, very awesome guy as well, um, Canadian, German born, but he's been pretty cool. He's had us in, sir, in stream, he just had me in one of his ATS multiplayer streams. Um, I have pictures on the Discord channel of that, which was really, really cool, and it's an honor to be able to jump in with him. Um, but it's just that little bit better um, when we can get a few people from this channel right there on his stream as well. And then, of course, when I get to record it as well, um, which is a few often. Um, so, yeah. Yeah. Um, Alex streams every night. Or um, he tries to stream every night. Yeah. He, um, and also. 9.30 p.m. To about MD, three. D MDT. T, yep, Mountain Standard Time. Yep, yeah, MD, MDT. Yep, so MST, about Mountain Standard Time. MST, sorry. Yeah, whatever. Yeah, uh, till about two thirty MST. Mm -hmm. And then sometimes he does an afternoon um, live stream as well, which is really really cool. Yeah. And one of the when you get numbers and when you get notifications on. Right? Yeah. And of course he has a. Discord channel, um, you'd be able to ask, like, he sh who shall not be named on our server to get a link over to that server. Um, there's also Diogo. Yeah, Diogo. Um, there's Mike. And Les. Les. Or Hard Truck. Is Les still part of our server? Yeah, I believe he is. Here we go. Let's go see. That's not that show. Right. Um, what's up, guys? We are trying to, we're on the hunt for, yeah, he is. Yeah, he's, our truck. Yeah, he's um, our moderator. Um, but yeah, shout out to um, he who shall not be named Vecro, another YouTuber, which, if I remember, um, he will be in the description. I don't know if he's doing too much on YouTube anymore. Um, I don't think he is because he, not long since he got a promotion. Yeah. That's true. Um, shout out to Jeep and Dan. 
um, Rosie, Car Truck, Previous Bacon, um, Snow Wolf, um, Sinis. Why are you giving me a shout out? Hmm? Well, whatever. You're just uh, you're on the list. I'm reading from. Sorry. Um, Snow or Shadow God. Wolf. Shadow Wolf again. Um, Lil Ryan. Um, Misty Wolf. Mike. Jet Mac. And um, every, Juggalo anyone else? Jamie. Yeah, Juggalo Jamie. And any other person that's a moderator that I did not. Um, read your name if I admit Also, you. Um, I know he's not one of our staff members on the server, Tanner. Uh, yeah, Tanner. Right there, he's a $11 million. But yeah, shout out to all of those guys. Um, especially Ma, or the staff, the first few names besides Tanner. Um, all of those guys are who are keeping the channel afloat right now. Um, yes. But yeah, Tanner as well. Huge shout out to him. He's been on the channel for quite a while. He's been a pretty good person though. When, when we him. get a chance, we help him out on his server. Mm -hmm. Which is really cool. Um, but yeah, who else deserves a... Um, Diogo. Oh, I just won't forget. Who? Vlad. He's been whingy. Past few days. Hmm? About Rosa. Oh, Mr. Bacon. Yeah. Poor guy. Poor Bacon. But yeah, Bacon's been bacon having a bit bacon. of trouble. Mmm. <laughs> bacon. <laughs> um. But yeah, shout out to basically everyone on Discord. Yeah, you guys and, are just awesome. And everybody on Alex's as well. Yeah. I'll go grab his, a few of his, um, um you've got staff. Game of Ash, mm -hmm. you've BTT. got BTT, you've got Penta, you've got, um, um Midian, um, who's, um, Midian, who now goes by, he shall not be named. On his um, on Alex's server, you've got Fred, you've got Miles. Oh, who is it? Oh, I can't remember his name. Who? The officer or the ex officer? Miles. Miles. Um, shout out to Miles. Um, like straight up, Miles. Um, if you even watch this, um. For you guys that are on my channel that do not know who Miles is, um, Miles used to be a police officer that got into a little bit of an accident with a firework on Fourth of July. Um, I believe he's an ex sergeant. Yeah, an ex sergeant. Um, he literally he still goes by sergeant, um, as well, sort of. Um, There's only a few of us who call him sergeant. Yeah, and I have I happen to be one of them <coughs> because. I was there when he was a sergeant in real life. Yes. Um, before. Um, we're not going hurt. to mention his former force mm -hmm. because we don't want anything. Yeah. To go come back. But yeah, he he was hurt on the um, line of duty and had to retire, which really really sucked, and um, we all kind of felt bad when we heard the news that he was hurt. And many many prayers were sent to him. Yes. For a fast recovery. And, um, from what I've been told, he's been doing all right. Um, so. He's you've now moved. Mm -hmm. um, but, yeah. Um, and then, of course, huge, huge shout out to Brad on Alex's channel as well. Um, one of Alex's staff member. Uh, he's just a downright amazing guy as well. Uh, what made you mention, bro? Well, I'll mention him again. <laughs> Brad is known on our server as. Well, what's he called on our server now? 
<laughs> I know it used to be uh, the weird, weird person from down the down block. block. It's he who shall not be named on Earth. He who shall not be named. Oh, in Jets. Um, going to be streaming tonight, so I know where I'm going to be. Yes. Tonight. And possibly even him if he's going to stay up for the stream. But I know I'm going to be in voice chat with him. Okay, when was that? Just a couple minutes ago, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, that was literally just a couple of minutes ago. Oh, no, that was at 12 or 5. I wonder if he's streaming. It's 1, maybe. So, he's probably streaming right now. Probably not, but... I have not a notification. No, I haven't either. And I believe... Yeah. He usually puts it... Up. Weird. Ow. Oops. But here goes. Um. There's really not much more to say. Um. So. Yeah, we've kind of stretched this out as long as I possibly could. I'm just kind of grasping at the air, trying to pull something down, um, searching for words that are not there right now. Um. So. We'll try to do that, guys. If not, I apologize. Um, we'll do something. So, yeah. <laughs> I have nothing more to say, really. Same here. So, you guys, if you liked, hit that like button. Subscribe. Hit that notification bell. With a fist. Yeah. <laughs> Comment. You guys, thank you for watching. Yeah, thanks guys. Hope to see you in the Discord server. Mm -hmm. See you guys. Peace out. Bye. Ciao.